Part 6. Thievery Justified by Poverty If we take it for granted that the need of one part can be an excuse for seizing the property of the other part, there will be no limits for robbery. Actually, the victim's patience determines the limits, to be more precise. As they say in Lithuania, meaning in a loose translation, the train doesn't wait for those arriving late at the station. In the capitalist system, the train does not wait for those lagging behind. In the socialist system, the train exists for the sake of those lagging behind. Engine drivers operating the lingering trains sometimes ask themselves, who is John Galt? Capitalism provides you with the right to administer your property and the duty to make arrangements with others. Socialism is the right to administer the property of others and the duty to submit to violence. Propaganda of socialism highlights the importance of bureaucrats who realize their interests through lawmaking. In these circumstances, the optimal behavior pattern for the population will be not to produce anything, hide found things, complain about everything, and announce enemies. Who started major modern warfare campaigns? 1914, World War I, initiator, Austria-Hungary with the Social Democratic Party. 1917, Russia, seizure of power and civil war. The Social Democratic Party headed by Lenin. 1939, World War II, Germany, the Social Democratic Party headed by Hitler. Military campaigns of capitalists show the desire for peace but on their own terms. Military campaigns of socialists implied the desire to fight because of the principle. Take Gavrilo Princip as an example. You can come to common terms with cynics, but fools are easier to deceive.